Welcome to Curbside Recycling St. John's. I hope you're all ready to recycle at your curb to keep our city clean and beautiful and to keep waste out of our landfill. Getting started is really easy. There's just three simple steps. Sort it, bag it, curb it. Come and let me show you how to do that. The first step is sort it. You have to sort your recycling into papers and containers. It's very important that you always keep these separate. The new recycling facility at Robin Hood Bay and even our new recycling trucks are set up for two stream processing. Papers go one way, containers go the other. So it's very important you don't mix these together into the same bag. So, what kind of papers do we take? Computer paper, writing paper, post-it notes, old envelopes, newspapers, including junk mail and flyers, soft cover books or books with a hard cover removed. We'll take glossy paper, such as magazines and catalogs, egg carton material, or cardboard takeout drink trays. We're taking cardboard boxes and a type of cardboard called box board. These are your cereal boxes, your cracker boxes, rolls that paper towels or toilet paper comes on. From your cereal boxes, you're gonna want to remove the plastic lining that's inside. Any paper gift wrap inside of boxes or gift bags, you're gonna wanna take this out and throw this in the garbage. And what kind of containers will we take? Most people know you can recycle drink containers. So aluminum pop cans, plastic water or juice bottles, even large pop or plastic juice bottles. Gable top containers are recyclable, as are Tetra Packs. But there's all kinds of other containers in your home that will be able to be recycled. Yogurt containers, margarine containers, old flower pots, aluminum pie plates, even cleaning supplies will be recyclable container products. We'll take tin cans like peas and beans and soup, pet food, or tuna fish. A very important point about your containers is that you want to rinse them free from food. Also, take out straws, any caps on items, even from your cleaning supplies. Take off the spray nozzles. If you're wondering if plastic containers in your home are recyclable, just pick up one of your hard plastic containers, look at the bottom. If you see the triangular recycling symbol, then it is a recyclable product. All of these items are recyclable at the curb, but here are a few things that aren't. Your cap bottles and nozzles and straws will all go in the garbage. Styrofoam containers, styrofoam trays, takeout drink containers, paper napkins and paper towels, plastic film like bread bags, Ziploc bags, and grocery store bags, and even junk food, chips or bar wrappers. All of those things will go in the garbage. Your glass drink bottles, wherever you bring them now for recycling, continue to bring them there. Items like paint cans, aerosol cans, and batteries are hazardous products. You can properly dispose of them at the Household Hazardous Waste Depot at Robin Hood Bay. There are lots of different storage options available for sorting, depending on what works for you in your living space. I like to keep small bins under my sink next to my garbage. When these are full of recyclables, then I empty them into the large blue bags that I put to the curb. Just try a few options and see what works for you. And now it's time for the next step, bag it. When you put your recyclables to the curb, you will have to put them in see-through blue bags. You can buy see-through blue bags at most stores where you currently buy your garbage bags. And now we're ready to curb it. Put your recycling at the curb next to your garbage. Recycling will be picked up every second week but on the same day as your garbage. To learn your pickup day, check your calendar, call 311 or visit curbitstjohns.ca.